Hi guys, welcome to OG Cars, and in today's video, we're actually looking at not a car, but something that used to be a car, and that is my trailer, which I've had for probably a couple of years now, or getting on that time. And uh, it was sold to me by a good friend, Lewis, through another person, Andy Holly. We'll get to that story in a moment. But basically, uh, here it is. It is a Panda converted trailer. So you can see it here in its out state. Now, basically, it's a camper. So the reason why it all folds out is that you can actually get a sort of like double air mattress in here or something and then use it. So we're going to try it this week, this weekend at Retro Rides. Um, so we'll let you know how that goes. But basically, we wanted to show you it because you guys haven't actually seen it before. And to be fair, I haven't had it out of the garage. Lewis delivered it to me. I put it in my council garage and it stayed there ever since. And the 126 was parked in front of it and I forgot the keys, so we had to bump it over. I think the only <laughs> time people would have seen a snippet of this is in your 126 videos where you mm. can just see it tucked at the back. Yeah. And the 126 should hopefully be coming back soon, guys. Uh, we are doing an engine build currently, so uh, that'll be in another video fairly shortly. Um, so yeah, we're going to show you guys this going back together. But just before we get into that, I was just going to say briefly, it's never brief with me, what this car used to be. So obviously it's a Panda. It was a Panda 4x4. It still does have the rear um, solid axle um, and rear diff. And basically it was the first ever, 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 Country Club, which is the Italian special edition they got off the later 4x4s. Um, it was the first one to come over into the UK. And unfortunately, it was involved in a front-end collision. So the front half of it went in the bin, as you can see. But the rear half is still alive. And Andy Holly bought it from the person um, who was involved in the accident and has managed to make this lovely camper out of it. So what we'll do is we'll quickly bring... Owen back in, obviously it's his anyway, to show you it going back down. But basically, because my Astra has a tow bar, we finally managed to have a car that would tow this home. But basically this, this will fold away. This works as a step, so you can get in and out. The sides fold down, so you've got some tables. I know the lighting's not great. You can see it better when we're at Retro Rides, of course. And this whole front end there folds out. It's absolutely hilarious, um, as is the cutout on the front. <laughs> But it's absolutely hilarious and when we were pulling this home with the Astra and this on the back it was such a laugh so what we'll do is we'll just show you it going back together and then you'll get to see it again with retro rides which will also have the alpha there as well just gotta grab the cushions put my table back and get your little windows back in of course by the way, we are going to try and get some better curtains on there because there's, like, no privacy. Oh. And yeah. we need to bring a brick with us because, as you can see, this moves around. Whoa! Bit. <laughs> this should go up, but the chain's broken to hold it down, so that's fine. God. That's annoying. Hey! Do you not know how it works? Well, how did you take it out? Did you take it out just like that? I don't really know. It just sort of went in. Did you take the circle out? I don't know. Did you take this out? Huh? I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember? I put the bolt in and then put the circuit through it. Put the bolt in? And then put the clip through it. Through it? Ah, oh, that's not how it was before. <laughs> why, why are you recording your mistakes? I'm sorry, Lewis, I don't think that's how you put them in when you showed me how to do it, but that was a long time ago. So, oh well. It works. And I can't reach that side because I'm stuck. There's a bucket there. This is a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be that bit first. It's got to be. Maybe without it rolling away, though. I 
Oh no, the sides need to open. Take 74. Oh God. That's gone your head. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna look great. And then try not to fall in the big hole. In big the hole. Sides in. Hmm. Where does that come from? Where does it come from? Oh. Ow! <laughs> this is very awkward on your own. Thing. The screw handle. And I probably butchered that whole thing. So, uh, yeah. And finally, thankfully, the easy part shutting the boot. He says as he has to <laughs> throw in the interior handle. Oh, they said it was the easy bit as well. <laughs> and there you have it. Next time you see this car, it will be a retro ride, so you'll see more on this then. So that will do for now. We'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.